Hi guys, what's up? It's Paper Cities 9226 here. Today I will be reviewing some of my heavy section weapons. Today I'm going to be mainly focusing on the Stinger 30,000. So let's get into it, guys. We're going to start off by going into a random map. Christmas Stinger, that's always a good one. And I'm not very good at playing with commentary, so I'm not going to be speaking that much. This is a review, so I'd like you guys to see if you like the weapon. The Singer 3000 is a manual guidance weapon. It is basically just the Stinger, but a little bit better. Even though the Stinger has a capacity of 4, this only has 1. And you have to be very good with your aim, otherwise this will not work very well. So, if you guys like this weapon, you can check it out. I'm going to try to get some decent kills here, but so far I've got none. I don't know how good this is going to be. I have attempted ma of making one video of this already, and, and Pixel Gun timed out, and I couldn't use it for a while. So this is take two. I have used this weapon once. So far it's not been the best. So we're going to try it one more time. See if you guys like it. If you really like it, I suggest just getting it as quick as possible because it is a unique weapon. It's here for only six days. I don't know what how long it will be from when I post this video, but if you if you really want it, just get it because it's going to be gone very soon. As you can see, even getting a couple kills, not as many as I would with my manga gun, which will be. Our final heavy section weapon that we'll be reviewing, and hopefully I won't die like that anymore, because it's not fun when I just die over and over again. Oh gosh, what is this? Well, let's die. It looks like I can't shoot. Isn't that lovely? Okay, finally I get my stinger back, and I'm killing myself. Isn't that lovely? Uh, how much HP? Okay, I have 21 HP. Let's see what we can do with that besides dying. And, so if you are really good and talented with your manual guidance, you probably want to use this weapon. Even though right now I'm not doing very well with it, because I have never used a manual guidance weapon before. I don't know how it works at all. So, this is kind of a review for me, too. I don't know why I got it. It's probably... Because I was like, hey, it's unique, and it looks like a it looks like an upgraded version of the Stinger. And since I don't have the Stinger, I was like, let's try it out. Okay. Pet. I don't know what that pet is, but it's OP. I've always been getting killed by that. I don't have it, but that's okay. I have my tactical ferret called YouTube. It's a very interesting name. I think the Stinger 3000 must be a three shot so far because I can't really kill anyone with one shot. This is not a Mac. I don't have any of my weapons 100% upgraded. Most of them are upgraded. This one is up to level 35. When I got it, it was 31. So, after this, I'm going to switch to the next weapon, which will be the, let's see, let's do the Adamant Bomber next, because the rest of the unique weapons, I have a bunch of unique weapons, and those are not going to be very good for the review, because you can't get them anymore, so, I'm going to go with the next heavy section weapon there is, <coughs> so let's go here, we're not going to do much with any of the other weapons today. Let's do... Let's do the Bomber Slinger. I have not used this in a while. Oh, it's actually not the Bomber Slinger. It is the Combat Slinger, I think. You know, I don't know. It's a clan weapon, though, so it's really hard to get. Let's see if I can get some kills. Oh, gosh. That was not good. It looks like, at the moment, this clan weapon is just, a. Uh, a five shot or something near. It is a heavy section weapon, so if, you're if you really want a weapon that can spam well, you should use this. It is a lot better than 
at spamming than other weapons. It also has ricochet, so it's like your adamant bombers and stuff. You can hit walls, and it'll still keep on going for a while. It is a looping shot, too. I'm not very good with looping shot, so I don't know how well I'm going to do with this weapon. Ah, dang it, that's one shot. It's supposed to be a one shot, but in my levels, it's a two shot. Ah, gosh. Most, I am not on level 45, so I'm not going to be reviewing those awesome, amazing weapons on level 45. Sorry about that. I have been trying to get there recently. I am on level 30. So I after I get to level 32, I will get some decent reviews in afterwards. Hopefully this guy won't just block my shots with my slinger here. Oh, nice. We got some nice overhead kills. Well, not overhead. Just over. Um, but... Looks like we're doing okay. Out of ammo, die. What was that? That wasn't even a hit. Did I even get the kill? Well, I missed. How did I miss? But if you if you want this weapon, you need a lot of ammo because there's no reload at all. And since all your ammo goes away so fast, I don't know how to explain, but it's just you need ammo like crazy. I don't know how good it will be if you. If you I mean, this this weapon is not good for rocket jumping. If you use your heavy section for rocket jumps, I recommend not using this. Even though most um, heavy section weapons are like one shots and stuff, a few of them like this are not as good on my level. Out of ammo, what do you know? I'm gonna try my one shot again. I've not used this in a while. It's still a two shot, what do you know? Oh, I got 27 ammo on my combat. Okay, but we should be able to get some decent kills with that much ammo. Still looks like it's not going that well. So if you do have this weapon, I recommend not using this. Don't buy it either if you are like, hey, I'm really close. Why don't I just buy the rest of the parts? No, don't do that. It is not that good. Honestly, I think this weapon should get a buff because it's still a si like a six shot until I get someone. And just with that, I didn't even get the kill. I don't know why, but the game, whenever I click random like random map, it always puts me in this one or Paradise Resort, and it's annoying me. But I do not want to do any like shortcuts or stuff to get through the video and cut that stuff out and get to a different map because honestly I don't think that'll be very good for the viewers which would be you because I don't just want to cut things out I want to give a good review so just whenever there's a, a map I'm just gonna play it so next review we will be doing will be on the adamant bomber I think let's go to another random map Ooh, pool party. This will be very good for our adamant bomber here. But it's not good for when I'm switching a weapon in the middle of a match. So, let's get to the adamant bomber. I have not used this in such a long time. That is okay, though, because we're going to get some decent kills with our adamant bomber friend here. Get out. We don't want your kind here. Oh, well, maybe not. He's still at, like, full health. Okay, what are we gonna do? Okay, this guy, I have Ra, that's been vaulted for a really long time. I don't know why they even masked it anymore, because it's like everyone knows what the I have Ra is. Yeah, see, it, do you see that? It's a demolition exoskeleton. Almost like no one has that, so I don't know why would why they'd put that there. Oh, come on, give me that kill. Give me that kill. Okay, ricochet. This thing has ricochet. So, this weapon, I do not know what level I have upgraded it to. But, 
I think I'm just gonna spam. And hopefully I can get some kills. Because it's not giving me that many. It's giving me more than the rest of the weapons are. So that is a plus. Everything else, not so much. Yeah, that was a three shot. That's okay though, right? I don't know. At this point, I haven't played with adamant bombers and other things like that for a really long time. I don't know how I should feel about this. Oh no! Oh, why did I throw the clockwork not cracker? Right at that split second. Oh, and also, I think the Clockwork Nutcracker is one of the best weapon, one of the be the best gadgets in the game because it's like at max level, which would just be one upgrade. It does like 47 damage, and it follows people for 25 seconds, which is an amazing plus. Because there's like no, they've vaulted all the homing missile weapons on the game.